Sharon, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to stay motivated when you're not actually feeling motivated. The first step in this is being really, really clear on what it is that you want. So you've got to have a really strong why. And I often say to people, if they're not hitting their goals is, on a scale of one to 10, how committed really are you to this goal? Because if it's not somewhere upwards of seven or eight out of 10, or a 10 out of 10, then you're not going to be committed. And what often happens is we might say that we want to get out and be, for example, exercising more or eating healthier, but often what happens is we let ourselves off the hook. We start to you know, justify in our heads why we're not necessarily doing the things that we're committed to. How we can start getting into this you know, justification of other things that we could be doing with our time, and very quickly we can talk ourselves out of it. I'll give you an example. So a couple of weeks ago, um, so one of my habits is that I swim on a Thursday and sometime on the weekend, which gives me flexibility to organise it in, but, but they are two very solid habits for me. This particular Thursday, it was bucketing with rain, it was freezing cold, I really was not feeling motivated to go for a swim. So I just want you to know that I'm just like any normal person, but what I've done is I've built systems in place that are unshakable. So for me, it's I swim on a Thursday, and as much as I didn't want to, when push came to shove, I got in my car and I drove myself there. But I got to the pool and there was actually a sign outside saying that the pool temperature was two degrees cooler than normal, which makes a big difference when it's cold and windy and rainy. I thought, maybe it's a sign from the universe. I'm not meant to swim today. So I got back in my car and I was thinking about all the things that I could be doing with my time when I got back home. But something inside me made me continue past my house to the next swimming pool that was not too far away. And I know that when I swim, I feel better. So even though there was this self-talk and this loop going around about what I could be doing and justifying myself not to actually go for this swim because it was cold and wet and I could be doing other things with my time, because it's become part of my identity, part of who I am, but I have this habit that I swim on a Thursday, that system that's in place was stronger than the, the talk that was trying to actually talk me out of going for the swim. So really importantly is make sure that you do have a goal that you are really, really committed to and that you are really passionate about. Number two is make sure that you have got a system in place that can become a habit. And number three is the more that you do that over time, the more that that can actually become part of your identity and who you are. So I hope that that's helped. A couple of tips on how to stay motivated when you're not. Thanks so much for watching Health Talk with Shannon.